Hi everyone, this is Tiana again, and I decided to refilm yesterday's video. So the theme or the, the idea behind the video was to show you a third way to kind of achieve uh, reverse stamping with layered stamps. There was a series of things kind of going on yesterday. Um, the video was in portrait mode. Um, and actually, I didn't find this little issue until I came in this morning. And it just solidified for me that I needed to redo this video. So yesterday, I had wanted to show how I did this. And I'm, I don't know if somebody is going to write in the comments of the original video that I had made a boo-boo, but something looked different to you. So I actually ended up stamping the jeweled, I guess like a bezel part in silver instead of black. So I kept looking at this, even when I did the design yesterday, I was like, what is wrong with this? And I guess maybe it's the lighting. I didn't catch it at the time that I was doing it. Da 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 da. But I'm gonna redo this design the correct way today. So, um, and then I'm also gonna show the same design that I did yesterday, which is like the two scallop. Whew, wish me luck. <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing well. And let me just jump into it. So. With this idea, I know Dev and I, uh, throughout the month of June, go, did go through two different ways to do reverse stamping. So you have, you know, you can make your decals, you can also put, uh, stamp your design and then paint it onto the stamper and then stamp it to your nail. But this method is actually a really fun method and for me, I think it's really quick. Um, so for some of our plates, we, we give like little golden nuggets of designs. Some plates are designed this way, others are just kind of put in there. Um, where there's designs that you can layer. So let's just take this design for example. You see how you have these designs that really have like no detail, it's just a silhouette. Um, so the way that it would work is that you would stamp this design first and then it gradually gets more detailed where you see this looks like a full image of a rose. Um, but you can really get a lot of detail in like this middle image that kind of either, you know, you can create shadows perhaps or, um, you know, just more definition into your design. Um, so it would go step one, step two, step three. Normally you would use like maybe three or four different colors. Four meaning like the stem would be green. Um, so it has designs like this. Now layered stamps can be a number of different steps. Um, you can see this one here, it's two step. So you would do this design first and then stamp this, the more detailed design after. Um, this one is two steps. So every design kind of has like its own thing. And um, let's see, I'm gonna show you a couple of other plates that we carry that kind of have the same concept. Um, let's see, oh here, let me just start with this one. So this is like a fall designed, um, you know, inspired plate. This is M076. And so you can see like if you wanted to make a deer head and it's really cool too. If you wanted to, you could use the design as is, or you could make the design more detailed. So the deer, you could stamp this as step one, maybe in like a tan color. And then you would stamp the design of the deer face over this design, maybe in like a dark brown or a black. So you have some really cool ideas there. I know for many of our fans, when it comes to the holiday time, um, there are some really popular uh, concepts that people like to do. So say for instance, you have like the Christmas bulbs here that you can uh, do 
stamp this design. Maybe you can make the balls a little bit different colors with like isolating certain ones. Um, and then stamp all of the, the detailed designs here. Here's another fun one too that people really like to do, which is the uh, Christmas lights with the bulbs. And I'm sorry, that is M080. For all our friends and fans who love foliage and, you know, um, flowers, this is another plate. So here, like, let's just take that for example. That kind of looks like a daisy. Um, this has three, three different layered stamps there. You have two with like the maple leaf. So you'd stamp this as the background and then that over with the detail. So you see, you can get really creative and create a lot more definition to your plates. Um, sometimes the concepts are not, you know, we have something really simple as shapes. This plate was actually designed um, to match or create like an outline um, to the different shapes. So say for example, you have this square, so you put that in one color, and then you can also create an outline with a different color. So the small ones match with the small outlines, the small designs match with the small outlines, and so forth and so on. So it does, you see how it doesn't have to be complex either. And actually, I have an example of a couple of designs that I did here on my uh, nail art journal. So there, you see a circle with the orange outline. I did a heart, a little um, like a sharp arrow, and then also the moon. Okay, this next one is a little bit more extensive and this one kind of reminds us of uh, kitchen tile. I believe that's the name of the plate and this is um, M029. And this is meant to be a full layer plate. Let me turn this around because um, it probably looks better this way. And so here, for example, you have you know, steps one, two, and three. Really cool, if you wanna do you know, the regular reverse stamping, you could take this design and color it in however you want to. However, you could also choose three different colors and do this one color, this one color, and this one color. And I can show you an example of uh, one that I was playing with here. So I took the light blue for the very first step, which is this one. Then I took the teal color, which is the second step. And then also I did with like a little orange for the outline, which is this design. So isn't that fun? And then there's also some really small, like individual designs here that still use that layering concept. And I did that here. Isn't that cool how much uh, detail you get in that? Okay, so let me jump into my demonstration and wish me luck <laughs> so that I don't make the same mistake as last time, but Let's jump right in. Okay, let me clean up my area and get some of my stuff ready. You know, when I'm stamping, um, I don't do anything without my sticky stamper station. This thing is so awesome. Okay. So again, I'm going to show you how to do this scallop design. And then also I'm gonna show you the correct way to do. This is the original design. This is the one I did yesterday. We're gonna scrap this one. There, I threw it, threw it down. Okay. So let me do this. So yes, I'm sorry, not yesterday. Um, so this morning what I did, I just prepped the nail tip and I used the sponging method. So you see how there's some white polish on there? And I know that we showed this, um, this technique in another video and basically all that does is create like a really thin layer, thin even layer onto the nail tip. So that's what I did. I did that for both the white and the blue, as you can see. So you don't only have to use this edge, you can also use this edge. And that's just a clean makeup sponge. Um, you know, when I used that. Um, okay. Let's see. 
Sorry, just give me one second. Actually, I just realized that I don't have the plates here. Just give me a second. get my microphone up here so y'all can hear me okay so as I showed you I mean I'm going to be doing two of these examples using um, Manny by me design plates we don't only have this com concept for Manny by me plates it's just I happen to be using the designs from both of those plates Manny by me as um, some of you might know this is a uh, exclusively designed plate for subscribers only. So, okay, so let's make a start. I probably should do the same design I did yesterday <laughs> and redeem myself. Okay. So right now I'm gonna take this, uh, this polish. It's a metallic, a beautiful teal and it's called sequence. So I'm going to use this set of designs over here. So let me put that down. It's great. Okay, let me just take off that excess cuz I don't want that stamped on. Okay. There you go. Okay, now when I stamp, I kind of see that there are some missing color, color pieces like right on the edge and right at the top. You know, I'm going to just re-stamp it. No biggie, right? I want that to be as opaque and that probably was, um, had something to do with my pickup. Maybe I picked up the polish a little too hard. This is much better. Much better. Oh, you don't want to come off? Okay. So all I'm going to do is just re-stamp that design. There you go. Just, just over that. Much better. <laughs> OK. Let me just close that up. Make sure my polish does not get um, dried out. Then I'm going to take pewter, which is this beautiful, beautiful silver. It's stamped so nice and so opaque. So I'm going to take this frame design here. Perfect. Let me just frame that like that. Okay. Very nice. And you know, sometimes I think you'll notice um, you can actually do this in different ways too. Um, it doesn't have to be in the method that I am showing you. Um, this design, you could probably stamp the opposite direction from what I'm doing. So, you know, feel free to be creative with it. There's no right or wrong way to kind of achieve the same thing. So don't worry about it if you if you know you just you find another method that works for you. Okay? That's what being creative is all about. Beautiful pickup. I'm just going to take off that excess there. So I'm just like stamping over stamps. That's basically what I'm doing. So there you go. You see that detail there? Okay. Yay! That's exactly what it was supposed to look like yesterday. Redemption. Okay. Yay! That looks perfect. And then like all other stamps, you use your smudge-free top coat. And 
we're just gonna seal in our stamp design. You know, from here, if you really wanted to make your design pop after putting your smudge free top coat, you could put a mat over your design completely. And then if you really wanted to, you could go back with your um, speed dry top coat and just put um, shine right over the gem so it looks more gemstony like that. But I love it, it's turned out great. And then it turned out correct. <laughs> oh boy, I was just laughing at myself when I found out that boo boo. Okay, so now I'm just gonna move that plate on the side and let me show you how to do this scallop design. Okay. So with the scallop design, I am gonna be using this MXM008. And I'm just going to be using this light blue um, background, which is, um, I use Blue by You. Okay, I'll just put that there. And I'm going to pick up this star pattern as like the background. I just wanted something with a little bit more, a little bit more design. And I'm going to be using turquoise. Let me just make sure my stamper is clean. We're good to go. You know, we're always getting questions and stuff about um, how to clean the nail stamping plates. 100% acetone. Don't worry about all the smudgies, kind of like what you see on this plate here. You can take a clean cotton pad and some acetone and just buff all of those things out. So don't worry about that. Doesn't hinder the use of your plate. Okay, there's my little star bubble pattern. And I'm just gonna put that over as a background here. Okay. I'm gonna add some more pattern. So this nail tip is quite big. Um, so that's why I'm kind of missing some designs on the bottom. I'm gonna try, oh, oh. Let's see, my nail tip came off. There you go. It's a little sticky sticker thing we put on the to help our nail tip stay, and it's coming off. Okay, let me adjust this a bit. Okay, I'm back. So here you can really see how, you know, it's really nice, sporadic, really simple. It's gonna make a nice uh, base for our scallop design. Okay. Now using the same plate, here is that layered concept. So you see these scallops on this side? I'm gonna use two of the biggest ones. So this is gonna be my background and this is gonna be the outline. So you see this particular plate is actually not, um, the whole concept is not layered stamping. It's just like a, a little golden tidbit. Um, but here we have, you know, many different uh, designs that you can use to, to layer. So for my pickup, I'm gonna use Starfish, which is this beautiful, beautiful purple hollow. Um, we use it so often you can really see where the, the polish is really pulling at the bottom. Okay, okay perfect. I got a little bit of the mermaid tail. I'll take that off. And I'm just going to stamp and try and center. I'm going to go a little above center because I'm going to have both of these designs onto my nail. So there you go. There's one. Maybe I put that a little too high, but that's okay. You guys can see what I'm doing here. So there, 100% acetone to clean. I'm gonna pick up that same design again. Okay. Let's take off the X 
process there. And I'm just going to flip. And there you go. Yeah, it's not as centered as I wanted, but at least so you guys can see the concept. Again, close your polishes. <laughs> Oh, and I also want to show you guys this too. So if you've noticed that our stamping polishes, they do have this Swatch Me um, sticker on the top. This is what you're supposed to do with it. So you stamp the top so you can see um, what the color would look like over white and black. Plus, uh, when you're storing your polishes, I don't know too many people who actually store their polishes laying down, but at least you can, uh, quickly pick and choose which uh, colors you want to work with. So there's that helpful little tool there. Scrape, oh, I'm gonna scrape that again, it looks a little blurry. Right. Okay. Hmm. I think I was going to try and do that again. It looks okay though. Okay. Um, there you go, there's one. And let me clean the plate again. Let's clean that while I'm down here. Take my straight up black stamping polish and scrape. Let me do that again. It's great. Okay. okay. Take this and flip. And now I'm just going to. There you go. So there, you have this design. Sorry I didn't line up the designs uh, nicely, but trying to do things through the camera so you can kind of see how that one turned out a, a lot better. There you go, there's the two examples. I feel redeemed and I hope that this video will upload correctly um, and yeah so that's just another method again I find this um, this layering method to be a lot faster as you can see we got through two designs in no time if I had to do the method for uh, creating a decal or um, you know, stamping on the nail, I would have to wait for the decal to dry, and then I would have to paint it in. And you know, it, it's a longer process, especially if you're gonna do all 10 nails. It's a lot. Uh, and you know, this is actually a perfect method too if you only have one stamper head. You know, um, so you guys can give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed, you know, this third method and um, send us your designs if you tried it. And definitely check out your nail plates and see if you have any little gold nuggets over there that we've put on the nail plates for you to, to kind of try this layering concept. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for um, joining me and take care, be safe, bye.